Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. The Gospel of John records the final utterance of Jesus as he hung on the cross. When he had finished the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. John 19, verse 30. The phrase, it is finished, is expressed in one word in Greek, tetelastai. It means to bring to an end, to complete, to accomplish. It is a word you would use when you graduate from university, cross the finishing line of a marathon, or have settled all outstanding credit card bills or a mortgage. There's a sense of accomplishment upon which you would say, I've completed what I set out to do. Christ's death on the cross not only glorified the Father, but also completed the work of our salvation. When He died, Jesus left behind no unfinished business, and there is nothing you and I can do to add to what Christ has done on the cross. God does not have a plan B. Tetelestai also expresses the idea that this happened and it is still in effect today. When Jesus cried out, it is finished, He meant that His sacrificial death for the sins of mankind was completed for the past and is still in effect for the present and the future. Paid in full means never having to pay for something again. Having experienced God's forgiveness, we are no longer shackled by the guilt and shame of our past sins. In Romans 8 verses 1 and 2, Paul writes, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. So enjoy your new life and freedom in Christ.